Welcome, I'm Dr. Steve Lautenschlager with ninjamastery.net. All right, it is February 16th, 2019, and it's nice and snowy outside, so I'm glad to be inside making this video for you today. Today I'm going to show you how to customize the appearance of indicators on your chart. So you can see here that I have three indicators added to this chart. First, I have the simple moving average. Then in the second panel, I have an RSI indicator. And in the third panel, we have a MACD. If I want to change the appearance of the SMA, we'll start with that. I'll double click it to bring up the indicators dialog. Now on the right hand side of this dialog, you see the properties panel. And at the bottom, we have this section called plots. Plots will show up for every indicator that has a plot. And if you look at the RSI, you can see it has a plot section. MACD also has a plots section. Going back to the SMA, you see, well, we just have the one plot, which is called SMA. And on the right of that, we have the summary of the appearance for that uh, indicator line. So we have the color the plot style, the dash style, and the width. If we go ahead and expand this, we see all those same options here, but now we can set them. So let's maybe change this color to something that stands out a little more like magenta. And we can see that color change. The dash style, to be honest, I don't really use very much. The reason being because the plot style does most of the same things a little bit better in my opinion. I'll just show you real quick. If we set the dot style, okay, it doesn't really change much. It just kind of dims a little bit. You can't really tell what's happened unless you increase the width like that. So you can do that if you want. I don't, I tend to avoid it and just use plot style. So plot style, we have a variety of things we can choose from. And a lot of these are just different symbols but some of them are function in a little different way. So I'll just demo those. So the bar chart basically turns your indicator into a histogram. This is very useful for certain kinds of things. If you look down on the bottom panel, you can see that the MACD histogram is using the histogram style or the bar style. And, but um, we can also set say block here, which is just a square dot. And most of these things, just change the symbol is plotted. Cross set, does a cross, hash is a just a straight line, or a dash, I guess I should say. Horizontal line is different. What horizontal line does is it draws a horizontal line across your entire chart based on the last value of the indicator. That can be useful in different scenarios. Line is the default, which is what we started with. Square is another interesting one that I like a lot. What it does is it charts the value of the indicator for the entire width of the bar before jumping up to the next value for the entire width of that bar. So sometimes this is more useful for you to be able to identify number one, the bar width itself, and number two, the exact value associated with that bar. Because when you have a line, sometimes it's a little hard to know what is the value of the line at that bar. So if you're doing precision work and you're wanting to know exact values, um, square might be particularly useful visually. Okay, so <clears throat> the, the rest of these are just symbols. So you have different triangles you can uh, apply. Now triangle comes out pretty tiny here. So if we increase the size, okay, a little big, go to four maybe, and still a little big. So these different uh, symbols are useful if you have multiple lines and you just want to visually have a visual uh, separation. So it's a little more, a little easier to identify the different lines. So let's move on to the RSI. I want to show you a few things. So we've got lines and plots. And what you see is that the lines have all of the same settings plus a name. Um, although we're not going to get into that here. You can change the name and the display will be a little different. Um, the, essentially you can choose to set these lines, 
like I said, in the same way that you can set the plot. So let's just do that. I prefer that my upper and lower be different colors. So visually, they just stand out a little easier. I'll change this one to say lime. Okay, so I like that. Now, we have another thing going on here where we have these two plots. I don't really need two plots, say, for what I'm doing. We have an RSI and just a smoothed version of the RSI. So let's say I only want the smoothed version. Well, I can go into, into RSI here and I can just set its color to transparent and that will hide it. So all I see is the line that I want. And that's this average line, but I also want to make it more visible. So let's go ahead and bring it. There we go. It's width up. And now I still have a little problem with this chart. It's kind of asymmetric. So an RSI runs from zero to a hundred. And yet because of the auto scaling of the, of the Y axis, our upper line is really close to the top of our panel, which I don't actually like. I'd rather have something a little more symmetric. So if you just left click on the Y axis, I'm going to drag it down and it just changes the scale of the axis. So that's a little better. It gives me a little more room at the top and the bottom. Now moving on to the MACD, I want to do a couple of things to it as well. So number one, I want to change the histogram to have greater width in these bars, just so it's a little more visible. Okay, make it a little wider still. Okay, that's good. But it's also kind of small within the panel. I want it to fill up as much of my panel as possible. Now, we already saw that if you just left click on the axis, you can shrink or expand the axis. So I want to expand the axis to fill more of the panel. Unfortunately, that leaves a lot of blank space at the bottom and it cuts my histogram off at the top. So what I really want to do is be able to move that down a little bit. And I can do that with control left click and drag. And that'll bring right back down to wherever I want to position it. And then I release the mouse and there it is larger and scaled and, and more centered within the panel. So these are all the different ways that you can alter the appearance of your indicators. Good luck. Have fun.